This is the guitar that dates back to 1990s. This guitar is 23 years old. Its overall length is 40 inches or 3.33 feet. The materials used are natto wood for its neck, rose wood for its fingerboard and bridge. Its side is made up of meranti wood and alloy for its tuning gear. It is slightly damaged at the bottom part and two of its screws on the tuning gear has been replaced by nails. The owner of the guitar is my father, Julieto I. Duverte, a pure-blooded Filipino. He was 24 years old when he bought the guitar in Cebu, when he was about to travel to Manila to find work. It served as his companion during his stay in Manila. Famous Filipino bands such as Eraserheads, River Maya, and Orange and Lemons were fresh at that time. This is also the time where alternative rock is starting to emerge. The source is reliable because my father taught me the basics of playing the guitar. He was the one who introduced the instrument to me and I learned a lot from him. I never would have thought about asking my parents about the history of the guitar. I only thought of it as a normal piece of instrument back then, but now it's more meaningful. It conveys many stories. It is also a tool that interprets one's soul. We Filipinos are naturally inclined to music and dating back to the post-colonial era of the Spanish to the Philippines, where the Americans took over and greatly influenced the country's music. Thus, the development of the three main forms, such as the harana, a traditional form of courtship, the kundiman, a lyrical story of love and heartbreaks, and the rondalia, an ensemble of musical instruments, mostly guitars, were founded.